Hello YouTube friends, it has been quite a while since I made an RPG Maker video with commentary. This is going to be another short video, but it's an update video nonetheless. Every single map that I've done so far has doors, well, except for one because I don't think it really needs doors at all. I might add some later, but for now, I don't think it needs them at all. But every other map that needs doors has doors. It took me forever to get it done. I know I apologize for being stupidly slow at making a video game, but Trying to juggle this and other content and a life and, well, you know, it, I mean, okay, I, I could juggle it better, but not having any ideas for my game was rough. I, I do have a few and I got a new one from playing another game. For the very first time ever in my entire life, because it came out as an HD 2D remake. So, yeah. And it may not work. If it doesn't, no big deal. I don't care. It's just an idea. But everything in here, from the prison going down, doors are done. For now. I've not done anything else besides that. I have, where is it? Collapse this and expand this. I've decided to not, at least for now, make this into a bigger map and I may not do it at all. I still kinda want to do it, but I also want to just move forward with the project because I've been on the city for more than six months. It's time to move on. So I can always come back to it later and decide to redraw this map into a bigger version of itself and make it a proper prison for the city or leave that for later on. Who knows? But for now, yes, it is a copy and paste of this one, which I completely forgot that copying and pasting maps with events copied the events too. I forgot about that aspect. Now I learned it again. So, hey, it saved time. Who knew? But yeah, so, I just wanted to do a quick update on that. I also did buy some new games. This one I've had for a while. I'm playing this again. But I bought these four games right here. This one is freaking adorable. This one is the one I got an idea from. I never played the original version of it at all. This one... I bought because it's on sale, and I figured, you know what? It's a CRPG Dungeons and Dragons type game, which a huge update for this coming next year. And I bought this as well. And Pathfinder, it does have a turn-based mode. I've not played it any at all. I've not seen any of the turn-based mode in action on YouTube. I've only seen the pause real-time thing, which is what Pillars of Eternity has. And so far, it's not so bad. I was on the fence about real-time with pause and the helper and the, like, the extra help options it has does not make it seem so bad. In a way, it kind of is like a turn-based game because of those extra options. 
But then again, it's not. The only downside is with pillars is no keep no um no gamepad controls. So I am having to use mouse and keyboard. So there will be times where I don't play it at all because of my um issues that I have, which are affecting me right now. So if you see the mouse go like like that, that's why. Cat Quest, oh my god, if you've not played Cat Quest, you should. It is adorable. Oh my god. It is. Oh, if you love cats, mm hmm. Get it. Dragon Quest, holy crap. What a blast this a game is. Man. And it's for Baldur's Gate. Now, some of you may not agree with me on this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And this is the final piece of update news for, for you know, for, for this video. The new update, the final update, patch 8 for Baldur's Gate 3 is set to release sometime next year. No, no date yet, no month yet, just question mark next year. That's all I know. That's all they've told us. And that's fine. Take your time. Do it right. If it gets pushed back into 2026, that's fine. Take your time. Do it right. Who cares? But for now, knowing that, Baldur's Gate 3 content, what I have on YouTube, is null and void. It is no more. Ignore it. Because the final update is coming out in a year or two years, if not three. Again, take your time, do it right. Not a big deal. I've been enjoying Baldur's Gate 3. Don't get me wrong, I'm enjoying it. But, why should I continue playing it knowing that the final update is coming out in a, in a year or two years or three years? Why? Why should I continue playing it until the final update's out? And it's also going to have 12 new subclasses for every main class. Also, I w I'm not quite happy with the choices I made for a couple of the characters. My main character and um, Shadowheart. So yeah, it um, tur turns out multi-classing is not the best choice in my opinion. So that's also a reason why I'm going to start over when the new and the final update comes out. Because it hurts you. I do not know that. And now I know. <clears throat> I'm, not a I'm not a Baldur's Gate expert or a D&D expert. I learned from my mistakes. And, you know... Turns out multi-classing hurts you on getting feats. I did not know that, and now I do. But, again, consider the the videos I have on YouTube now, no and void. I will, I will delete them, and I also am going to delete the 10 I have now on here. So, is it upsetting? Of course, but... Might as well start over when the new update comes out because it is the final update. So why not? You know? No big deal. Anyways, that's all I have for now on RPG Maker. I'm making progress. I know it's slow. And for what new games I have bought as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short video. And I will see you guys in the future. Also, happy Turkey Day or related Turkey Day. Whenever this video goes out, it could be today or tomorrow or over the weekend. Who knows? Anyways, have a wonderful day.